Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, I am quite excited to show you the entire demo of Copilot Workspace. If you have not got the access, then please go ahead and click the join the waitlist. And in some days, probably you'll be able to get this particular access uh, for a single user. Now, what exactly Copilot Workspace is, I hope everybody has heard about GitHub Copilot, right? It provides you suggestion with respect to the code. You know, if you are specifically using in any kind of IDs, then automatic, whatever code you really want to write, you just give it in the form of comment section and you'll be able to get the entire code, right? Um, but here, what we are specifically going to discuss about is Copilot Workspace. Now, this Copilot's Workspace is something different when compared to GitHub Copilot. It does many more things over there, right? Um, and trust me, this really makes your coding journey very much easy. Please watch the demo till the end. You will definitely be understanding. So what it actually helps you to do automatically with respect to any issues that you're specifically working on, uh, it will provide you all the suggestion, what all code files it needs to probably create, what all code it needs to create based on just a single prompt. You will be able to get each and everything. Not only that, let's say you're creating a project from scratch, you're solving any issues in some open source project, everywhere it will be able to help you out. It also includes documentation. It provides you a lot of AI assistance and many more things, right? So let us go ahead and probably talk one example over here. So I'll just go to my github.com. I will just go ahead and create my new repository. First of all, I'll just show you when I'm probably creating any project from scratch, uh, how I'll be able to create it. So here, uh, let us go ahead and write some ML project. Okay. And I will just go ahead and do this. I'll say add a readme file. Let's keep it public, uh, general purpose, public license. I'll just go, go ahead and create one repository. Okay. And it is a complete empty repository here. You can probably see that and that's not doing anything. I've just written some ML projects over here. Now, uh, now if you go ahead and click on code over here, you'll be getting an option of code space. Uh, you'll be getting an option of copilot, right? So now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to probably, uh, write some task right over here, like what I really want to do and what assistance I specifically want from the copilot itself. So if I go ahead and write over here, please, um, Please, uh, or I'll just go ahead and write uh, implement and end to end, end to end project, end to end machine learning project, end to end machine learning project with MLOps use use MLflow for the complete life cycle of the machine learning project. Okay. So I'm writing this specific comment. Uh, also make sure to update the readme file. So this is what is the task that I'm going to perform over here. The once I probably see this, I'll just go ahead and click on start task. Now you see the magic, what it will happen. So it will go to my copilot workspace.github.next. Now you can see I've given this particular task. The first step that is basically going to happen is specification. So does the repository include an end to end machine learning project managed with ML flow with an updated readme file? No, the answer is no. So it is analyzing. I've not written any code. The readme file is present, but only contains a repository title without any detailed information. There is no evidence of ML flow integration or management of a machine learning project lifecycle within the provided files. The repository contains license file indicating it is an open for contribution, but this does not relate to machine learning project cycle. So proposed, yes, the repository now includes and machine learning lifecycle managed with ML flow readme file is updated the repository contains scripts so it is going to probably create all the scripts that is actually required uh, along with that readme file license and all again understand I'm doing this entire project from scratch let's say I have already developed a project there are some bugs somebody's raising an issue I can also fix that that part also I'll probably show you right so I will say okay fine this is uh, what is the proposed so go ahead and generate the plan now you can see task specification planning everything is going ahead right so here you can see update the readme project disconnection so this is the entire plan it is probably going to do so here it is also showing you this ml project lifecycle.py now you can probably see that it is implementing a python script that demonstrates the end-to-end -end machine learning project lifecycle include code for initialization and ml flow experiment add functionality for logging parameters everything is done requirement.txt is also uploaded right so um, if you 
don't feel that okay this file should not be included uh, you can probably go ahead and click over here and just say remove the flap re remove from plan but let's say that you really want to use it so i will just go ahead and do all these things um what you can basically do is that you can probably add all the files to the plan and now you can i'll just go ahead and create this all right now i'll just keep it like that okay and now let's go ahead and implement all the selected files over here right so i i will not even click this i will just go ahead and click on implemented selected files now as soon as i probably click this now you can see the entire implementation will start right and this is really good uh, for a basic project yes for an end to end project wherever we are getting some kind of issues that can be also solved through that right so now you can see the entire implementation is again done by the copilot itself um yes uh, i'm telling you that if you really want to understand all these files you really need to know machine learning you need to know about ml flow directly you cannot depend on this because at the end of the day you really need to implement things right so now you can see all the three file changes has happened this project is file is created readme file is basically updated and done done each and everything is done over here right and how quickly it was just imagine guys it is so fast right so so fast right and you can also change your task write any more comments over here whatever you want now i will go ahead and create the pull request i think uh, you can see integrate ml4 for a project life cycle description everything is getting updated over here demonstrates what all things has been basically done i will go ahead and create the pull request and now finally you'll also be able to see that my pull request will be visible in front of me as soon as i probably create this particular pull request i will go ahead and merge this pull request so i'll say confirm merge so once i specifically merge this if i go to my code my my main branch here i'll be able to see my py file with all the information over here so did you like this <laughs> how quickly so let's verify the code also whether it will be able to work or not in order to verify you can directly run this in the code space also if you want okay if you have a uh, you know if you have a uh, github copilot access you can also go ahead and run this in github.com slash code spaces if you want okay so that is something different but here you can see yes the code looks absolutely fine i have executed this particular code even though before i created this kind of tutorials but all together the entire code is basically over here and you can see the entire ml flow project is done so that is what i really wanted the task that i had actually given was an end to end ml flow projects and all anything that you want right so uh, if you specifically want to work on any issue just create a new issue and let's say that i'm creating a issue over here and i'm going to say add modular coding with classes and inheritance okay okay inheritance and try to re and try to create a structured folder structured folder in the project so i'm just giving some command over here let's see so i'm going to submit this particular new issue over here okay now with respect to this particular issue you will be able to find it over here now what i'm going to do if i really want to solve this issue or anybody who wants to solve this issue i will just go ahead and click over here and then you will be able to find one option which is called as open in workspace so i will just go ahead and click it right now automatically this issues uh, also it will start analyzing and you will be able to see that all specification proposed plan and implementation will start right yes uh, it will definitely require some of your help it will just not give you the 100% accurate things for more complex things but yes this looks wow <laughs> i am really excited to see all these things just imagine the kind of work that you'll be able to do wow if you are a super cool developer if you know <laughs> in and out of each and everything so here you'll be able to see everything right so here you can see implement inheritance by creating base ml model with ml project life cycle create an empty file to make spreads in init.py models data model base ml readme file everything is implemented now i'll just go ahead and click on implemented so this is the file changes that is specifically happening let's see the file changes are happening over here all the files are basically getting created you'll be able to see oh nice all the code is also basically getting written now i know some people will be afraid krish what we really need to do <laughs> this is one of the co most common question that i get from people guys see why i am getting excited by seeing all these things just imagine over here because i i i have already implemented all these things right and just let's say that i want to probably create a new project i want to work in my company and if i have all these features i will be able to create quickly right i'll be able to create anything as such quickly right and here you can see all the comparison of the files is also done right this was the before part and this is the new part over here now you can see more amazing functions classes everything is used 
सो दिस इज द पावर ऑफ ए आई पढ़ना स्टार्ट करो ए आई भाई राइट यूल बी कीप ऑन सींग न्यू थिंग्स दैट आर बेसिकली हैपनिंग एवरीबडी विल बी वरीड अबाउट योर जॉब बट जस्ट इमेजिन द काइंड ऑफ प्रोडक्टिविटी दैट यूल बी एबल टू डू इट नाउ आई जस्ट गो एड एंड डू द क्रिएट पुल रिक्वेस्ट एंड नाउ आई विल डू द पुल रिक्वेस्ट नाउ With respect to any open source project, you see, go ahead and see in Llama 3, Generate DBI, anywhere, wherever there is an issue, just try to open it and try to see whether it will be able to fix or not. If there is a complex issue, if the project is ready, it will probably take time. But this will be very handy when you are creating completely project from scratch because you will be able to understand that particular project, what is the molder, uh, folder structure and all, what is required. So I'll finally confirm the merge over here, and now here you will be able to see that uh, the merge will be getting confirmed, and now finally I get my code. So if I go ahead and see my code, this is my folder structure. Data is over here. Models is over here. Now go ahead and execute. The script is over here. This is my model.py. This is my ML project. Now any type of more code you really want to write, you can go ahead and write it. And similarly, you can see everything in your readme file has been documented. In and out, you have actually done it. So try to get an access quickly and be become more productive and don't worry about things, what is going to happen in the future. Enjoy the process. Make sure that you stay updated. And if you don't stay updated, don't worry, I'm there. I'll be keep on uploading videos, right? So yes, this was it from my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you, one doll. Take care. Bye-bye.